Even Congress can't figure out who bought nearly a billion dollars worth of land near one of the Air Force's most sensitive bases. The U-2 flies out of there. A secret group called Flannery Associates continues to buy land up around Travis Air Force Base, and nobody can figure out where the group is getting its money, and Flannery Associates is doing a lot to hide it. Over the past few years, Chinese ownership groups have bought up land near other Air Force bases, specifically Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota, Laughlin in Texas. Congressman John Garamendi is on the House Armed Services Committee, joins us now. Good to see you, Congressman, uh, as sure. always. What, what are we going to know the truth of first, the, about UFOs or who's funding Flannery and Associates? Well, I suspect we'll know more about Flannery. Uh, it's clear that a serious investigation is underway, and they should be. This just doesn't make any financial sense. It makes no sense uh, for any business, given the uh, multiple, uh, maybe five times, ten times, the normal price of land in this area. So what's going on here? They have surrounded one of the most important air bases on the West Coast, and this is the way we get to the Pacific. Anything happened uh, in the Pacific with China, this base would be the uh, the way in which the uh, U.S. Air Force and military would transit across the Pacific. Yeah, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist or anything, but when you look at the map of where they have bought up land, it would not be that hard to hide some surface-to-air missiles uh, in any one of these little little homes or buildings or anything else that they've bought around uh, Travis Air Force Base. Uh, and at the right moment, you'd you'd have low-flying U.S. planes, especially the transports that you could you could take out. Um, something the U.S. military should never really consider. My question is, how how did we get to this point? We have a map of this. They've already spent eight hundred million dollars. How did we get to this point without it raising some alarms? Well, we've been uh, raising the alarm for about the last eighteen to two months now. Uh, the purchases started slow, uh, and the county uh, didn't pay too much attention. The Air Force Base didn't pay much attention. But now we do know that uh, the base is surrounded on three sides. That's been apparent for nearly, well, almost two years now. Uh, and the 52,000 acres in the area has been purchased. We also know that they're paying substantially more, multiple, sometimes five, in some cases, 10 times what land in that area once was sold for. And very interestingly, several of the ranchers in that area did not want to sell their land. They had a family heritage. Uh, and Flannery and Associates decided they would sue the landowners because apparently the landowners were talking amongst themselves, what's going on here? And they were suing them for constraint of trade by refusing to sell their land. Now, that's a very novel uh, yeah. lawsuit. But the result of it is the families had to defend themselves in federal court. And two of them simply said, we can't afford, we cannot afford the lawyers to defend ourselves, and they have subsequently sold their land. Fascinating. And, and, and I, look, may, maybe now, after two years, you can get, get an answer. I'm, I'm wondering just in the big picture, and you've been one of the, the people at the forefront, uh, the tip of the spear really, ringing the alarm bells about what China is doing uh, to infiltrate the United States. Are, are we in sort of in, in, in the mid-1930s and everybody's going, oh, it, it's okay, Mercedes-Benz should be able to build some plants around U.S. military bases. That There just seems to be a complete lack of understanding of, of how good the Chinese are and the long game they're playing. Well, certainly they're playing a long game, and certainly they're willing to make extraordinary investments all around the world in what they consider to be strategic locations. And certainly Travis Air Force Base is a strategic location, as was Grand Forks in North Dakota. Uh, we don't know where the money's coming from. The uh, associates, the LLC, says, well, they're all American. Well, that's fine, but show me the money. Where is it coming from? Follow the money. And clearly, by being by owning the land on three sides of this base, right up to the fence, they have positioned, Flannery and Associates is positioned to do some nasty stuff at that base. I don't think uh, service to air and missiles is what we're talking about here, but clearly listening, disrupting in multiple yeah. ways, all of that is possible. And it doesn't take much if a strategic airlift is going across the Pacific, if it were to be delayed or somehow canceled, that would be a significant problem for the U.S. military on the far western side of the Pacific. And so we need to know. Yeah, also no, keep in mind that the big Internet ties, from uh, electrical ties 
grids from the Columbia River go right through this area, and it is a major wind farm area. In addition to that, there are additional uh, key military facilities, very small communication facilities Con in this area. Congressman, I, I, hate to do, I hate to do this, but we got to run. We, we had some technical issues earlier, so I have to cut you off. But please come back as you get more information and maybe uh, put, put one of these guys uh, with Flannery Associates on the hot seat. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.